Welcome to the Freedom at 60 YouTube channel. In this video, we're diving into an exciting feature now available from Victron Energy, the solar and wind priority setup when connected to shore power. This powerful configuration allows you to maximize your solar and wind energy usage even when you're plugged into a marina or campground pedestal. That means less reliance on shore power, which is especially helpful in locations that meter or charge for electricity usage. We'll walk you through how this setup works, why it matters, and how it can save you money while staying energy independent. Whether you're living full-time on a boat, in an RV, or just want to make the most of your renewable setup, this is one feature you'll definitely want to explore. Let's get started. In this video, we'll show you exactly how to set up Victron Solar and Wind Priority System using a few key components, a Servo GX for system monitoring and control, the Victron VRM portal for remote access and oversight, the VE bus configurator software, a laptop with a VE bus to USB interface, and in this case, a Victron Quattro inverter slash charger, though these steps should work the same if you're using a MultiPlus as well. We'll walk you through the process step-by-step step from connecting to the system to adjusting the settings that give priority to solar and wind power over shore power, all while still having the safety and backup of shore power when needed. Okay, we're going to start out here with fresh screens. We're going to go to the Victron Connect in order to get into your VRM. And then you go into your VRM, which is showing it's online there. Connecting, you want to go to your VRM online portal. I'm going to move this over here so it's easier for you to see. I'm going to make this full screen. And we want to go to device list. You click on, let me go back. You're going to click on these three bars and then run down until you see device list. Click on those. And then once you're in device list, you slide down here where you see remote VE configure you click on that and then you okay we're back now we got this uh, configure service you're gonna have your whatever unit you have here you're gonna download a file and this is all done on your laptop again waiting for status updates then it'll write the file and then you're going to save the file. I just usually save it in downloads. You only need this file for one purpose, and that's to reconfigure this system. And it takes a minute to do this, but we'll let it go on through what it's doing so you can see the entire process here. It may take a little bit more. It's initializing it now. Now it's going through everything, seeing what's there. Reading setting data. Reading the grid info. Okay, now here's where you save it. I'm going to save it into my downloads, just my regular downloads, and you can see I've done this all before. You see I've got Freedom 60, that's my last one, so I'm going to just redo this as Freedom 60, and then it'll, it'll overwrite that one. Save it, and there you go, you've saved it. Okay, now we have it downloaded. We're going to go into the BE bus system configurator. And then we're going to move that over here so it's easier for you to see. File. 
my loader configuration, which is that Freedom 60 file I just downloaded. Double click that and it'll pop up here. Now you want to go into the dual, the Quacho. So you're going to left click on that or right click on that. Sorry about that. That's right click on that. BE configure multi. And then it'll pop up and you want to go over here and then you want to go to advanced you want this limited internal charger to prioritize other energy sources anything after 50 volts all right and then you want to go into the virtual switch and it dedicated ignore AC input again that's virtual switch usage dedicated ignore virtual in, in AC input now here I put this as do not ignore AC input if it's higher than 5300 watts never had that in this system for 250 seconds when accept an AC due to load ignore it after it's 300 or 3500 watts for one minute now here's the more important do not ignore AC input and I put this when my battery state of charge is lower than 38 percent and this way it starts to charge once my batteries get down to 38 percent I played with this a little bit different settings in order to not use as much battery when I'm at the sh at the dock this is what's important um, to me and and I wanted the setting to be up there towards 40 percent and then when accept an AC due to battery condition ignore AC when voltage on the battery is higher than 56 now you can change that I'm gonna actually change that 52 that way it'll only charge it to like a certain certain percentage not all the way up to the top and you can play with this you know um, anywhere you want um, it's just super easy to do and now you've got that file exit do you want to save these changes yes now I'm going to go into the other quattro because I have two quattros and do this one also. I don't have them set up as master and slave. Uh, I need to do that probably. But same exact setup. Ignore AC input and we're going to change this to 52 also. Just so we've made a change. All right. We got this, we got the that the same 38%. And file exit. Yes. Okay, now you're back at the VE config. You're gonna go file and then exit. And it's gonna save it for you. So you hit yes. Now that you have that saved. You're going to go back into your VRM, or you can still have it up. I never shut this one down. Hit Upload. It's going to ask you to select a file. And there it is, Freedom at 60. That's this one right here. So I'm going to double click on that. And now it's going to write it. It's as simple as that. S depending on what settings you're changing, sometimes you'll lose everything for a second and then it'll pop back up and uh, if your Wi-Fi is on the same power as everything else which mine is here you'll lose your Wi-Fi for a minute well it reconfigures sometimes it doesn't sometimes it does I do not know exactly what changes makes it reset Wait on this now.
can see it's going through its process. It's writing the settings. And this is usually where you get the click off and on. Write settings data. Somewhere in here it does that. I don't think it will with what the little changes. Let's see, it says successfully done. So we're all set. Your new settings are all in there. And now you're running that system. Now, if I go back to the device or to the dashboard, you can see we're not using AC input. Oh, it doesn't have the AC loads right this second. It'll show them here in a second. Let me try to not full screen that. There it goes. Shows the AC loads here, but they're not coming up as a big number yet there. There they are. Shows your AC loads. Shows that you, you're you using 1,446 watts, 2,040 watts going in, and state of charge is 95%. And that'll run all the way down to 38% before it goes back to using any AC loads. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on Victron Energy Gear and other off-grid power solutions. We're learning as we go and sharing everything along the way. A big shout out to John from Rig Bright Marine in Palmetto, Florida, who designed and installed our entire system. I couldn't be happier. We've been out for over three months now, staying on the hook most nights, running air conditioning every night, and we've only used the generator for three and a half hours total. That says a lot about how well this Victron setup performs. If this feels a little beyond your comfort zone, don't worry, John can configure the whole system remotely as long as you've got Wi-Fi and your Victron VRM portal set up. There's a link below to email Rig Right Marine if you'd like help getting your system dialed in. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for our next video where we'll walk through our complete Victron Solar setup.